KT News, Wasingishu County. Moving on, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has recovered a parcel of land valued at 100 million shillings that had been grabbed by a private developer and leased to other users since 1994. ESCC spokesperson Eric Ngumbi says a case they filed in 2021 has been concluded with the Environment and Lands Court cancelling the fraudulent title issued to the developer. This comes as Nakuru residents raised concerns over cases of well-connected individuals grabbing public and private land in the town and rural areas. Ken Gashuhi reports. This half an acre parcel of land in the middle of Nakuru City, which had been set aside for government offices in 1984, is said to have been grabbed in 1994 and a list title issued fraudulently a year later. <laughs> Yeah. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission ESCC spokesperson Eric Gumbi says that the property valued at 100 million shillings has now been recovered through a court order and the fraudulently issued title revoked. Ilikuwa pia itumika kwa upanuzi wa mahakama, ilikuwa itumika pia kwa upanuzi wa labor offices na office ya county commissioner, lakini kupitia ulagai na ushirikiano wa watu binafsi pamoja na land officials. Kipande hiki cha ardhi kika ibiwa, kika kuwa grabbed. Lakini hivi sasa tume ya ESC mewesa kurejesha kipande hicho kupitia eh, court litigation. Nakuru County has been cited as a hotspot for land grabbing cases with public properties valued at nearly 6 billion shillings being recovered by the ESC recently. Kwa hivi sasa tume ya ESC eh, neo hili la Nakuru imeweza kurecover na kurudisha kwa serikali mali ya zaidi ya 4.2 billion vile vile kuna kesi ambazo ziko kotini ambazo zinanuia kurejesha vipande vingine kama hiki uh, thamani yake yote ni 9 billion ambazo ni kesi zinazopatikana katika mahakama ya environment na land hapa nakuru Gumbi want government entities of exposing land allocated to them to grabbers, saying that most of the disputed parcels were not secured prior to their grabbing. This comes as Nakuru residents lament of increased cases of intimidation and harassment by well-connected individuals who cite names of prominent politicians. For instance, a former ward representative recently forcefully ploughed this 40-acre parcel of land in Gata, claiming that he had been sent by a senior member of the ruling coalition. In this particular case, I may cite a very, very senior leader in the Senate of Kenya, thinking that he will intimidate people Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kusema ni untouchable chini ya sheria kama kuna watu ha, kama hao tupe ripoti alafu hatua itaweza kuchukuliwa. Kengashui KTN News. Now the National Transport and Safety Authority NTSA has rolled out a program to train